Good evening and welcome to St Thomas's for evening prayer. My name's Ellie and I'm one of the worship leaders here at St Thomas. It's so good to welcome you this evening and I hope this time comes as a blessing to you. You might wish to play some music in the background or even light a candle. So to start we have Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So now we're going to have a short pause to reflect on the day that is past. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And today's reading is Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me. When I am in distress, turn your ear to me. When I call, answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress, I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bows, bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long, my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will rise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favour to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory, for the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute, he will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners, and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life he broke my strength, he cut short my days, so I said, Do not take me away, my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing you will change them, and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your, yours, your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence 
their descendants will be established before you. So I'm going to read the psalm three more times. The first time, I'm going to give some space after. And I'd like you to think of the first thing that stands out to you in this psalm. Hear my pray, prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My burns burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will rise and have compassion on Zion. For it is time to show favour to her. The appointed time has come. For her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people in the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, my Lord, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them, and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established in before you. So what stood out to you in that reading?
I'm now going to read the psalm a second time. And this time, I'd like you to think and feel whether there is a message for, from God for you in this psalm. Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me. When I call, answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like glass. I forget to hit, eat my food. In my distress I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will rise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favour to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praises in Jerusalem when the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them and they will be discarded, but you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established before you. So is there a message from God for you in that psalm?
I'm going to read the psalm again, and I'd like you to pray through, through with it. Is there anything, as I read it, that you feel prompted to pray for, whether it be for you or for someone else? Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call, answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke, my burn, bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes of my food and mingle my drink with tears. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will rise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favour to her. The appointed time has gone. Come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the king of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for a future generation, that the people not yet created may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life, he broke my strength. He cut short my days. So I said, do not take me away, my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through all generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment. Like clothing, you will change them, and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established before you. So what do you feel you are prompted to pray from that psalm?
So now we're going to pray, but if you need to, continue to sit in silence with Psalm 102. I invite you to stop the video and do so. Let us pray. Lord, many countries are at war. There is struggle, violence, pain and hurt all over this world. There is hunger and starvation caused by war. Please, Father God, in this time of struggle, lend those in countries at war your strength and bring them peace. Amen. Lord, coronavirus continues to have an impact on our world, separating families, isolating many, killing some, leaving some extremely unwell. So, Father God, in this time of struggle, lend us and everyone affected by coronavirus your strength. Hold everybody close, Lord, in this time. Amen. Lord, governments all over the world, including our own, are deciding on policies which will affect the lives of ordinary people. Help them, Lord. Give them the strength, wisdom and morality to truly help ordinary people. Amen. Merciful Lord, the NHS in the UK is struggling. Important surgeries and procedures have been postponed and cancelled. Those who work for the NHS are doing amazingly, Lord. The NHS is in crisis, Lord. So, Father God, in this time of struggle, lend all who work for the NHS your strength and help the government to act wisely in protecting them. Amen. Father God, as St Thomas Church Beckentry continue to worship from home, protect and lend strength to all our church members and help us to be disciples of you so we can follow your lead to help our community. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we join our prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. If you'd like to support the work of St Thomas Beckentry, you can find the link in the description of this video. Or if you'd like to contact us and talk more about faith, you can find details to do so also in the description of this video. So to conclude, in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>